All right, Doc Positive here with Cody, 13-year-old Rottweiler boy who came in for swelling on his ear. He actually has a, a hematoma, which is a broken blood vessel in the ear flap that causes bleeding between the layers of skin and a swelling here. Let me show you here, Code. Hey, Code man, yes, can we see your ear? And if you can see here, that swelling, that's a big uh, blood clot between the layers of the skin. From shaking his head, actually most dogs that get a, a hematoma, an oral hematoma, A-U-R-A-L, most of those dogs have an ear infection and they shake their head a lot and they actually break the blood vessel. What we discovered is Cody has developed a little OCD maybe, we're teasing mommy. Uh, a little obsessive compulsive. He has a collar with some tags on and he likes to shake it, likes to hear the noise, likes to chew the tags and we think he whacked his ear on something. Years ago Doc Positive did surgery on these. We would incise them, drain them, sew the ear together and the dogs were really miserable. There was a mess, a lot of drainage, dripping and about 15 years ago my mother-in-law brought a dog in that had a hematoma and she, despite the fact that it didn't cost her anything to fix it she didn't want to have it done and I have not done surgery to repair a hematoma since then. These dogs will absorb that blood clot, the blood clot uh, dries up, the ear shrivels up a little bit, they may get a little uh, misshapen ear, uh, cauliflower ear like wrestlers and boxers get, but uh, the dogs are much more comfortable in the long run. Uh, we don't get any income, but that's okay, we're doing okay anyhow, but the dogs are more important, much more comfortable. The only time we do surgery anymore is if we have a dog that has upright ears possibly a um, German Shepherd, that the people, it's really important for them that the ears stand up. And we can't even guarantee after surgery that the ears will stand up. But Cody here, he is going to avoid surgery today. Gonna send him home, maybe have him come back in about a month, check that ear just to see uh, how he's absorbing that. Cause it does take a couple of weeks for the blood to be reabsorbed. But that's an oral hematoma. A-U-R-A-L, a hematoma of the ear flap. We see those very, very commonly because if you look up here, the top 10 reasons dogs visit the veterinarian, number one, ear infections. And a lot of those dogs with ear infections will get an oral hematoma. All right, bye now.